Today's lesson is rational functions, equations from graphs. Okay, my learning target for today is I can write the equation of a rational function given the graph by listing the zeros as factors in the numerator, vertical asymptotes as factors in the denominator, removable discontinuities, also known as holes, as factors in the numerator and denominator, and a horizontal asymptote as the ratio of the leading term's coefficients. All right, let's start out with, let's name the domain of the function in interval notation. Okay, so domain, I start out with all real numbers and then I have some restrictions. Since I'm talking about rational functions, these are fractions, so the denominator cannot equal zero. So I am looking at specifically the denominator here. And what makes the denominator equals to zero is x equals negative four. So I start out with all real numbers except negative four. If I need to take a look at this on the number line, it's everything except number four. So we're being asked to write this in interval notation. So I start at negative infinity and I go to negative four. I'm not including negative four and it's the union of negative four to infinity. Okay, can you pause the video for a minute and do number two? So how'd you do? So number two, x cannot equal eight. So I would write that as negative infinity to eight union with eight to infinity. Okay, that's the first piece I wanted to review. And the second piece is, let's write an equation of a rational function from a graph. Okay, I'm going to do the first one, then I'm going to have you do the second one. Okay, I'm going to start out with, I'm looking at the hole. The hole is right here. This is at x equals 2. So if I write that as a factor, that's x minus 2. So a, a hole or a removable discontinuity is a factor in the numerator in a denominator that I simplified. So I would write this as x minus 2 and x minus 2. Next I'm going to go look at the zeros. So my zeros I have right here at x equals 4 which is x minus 4, and at 9, so x equals 9, and that is x minus 9, so zeros go in the numerator. So this is x minus 4, x minus 9. Next I see I have vertical asymptotes. So my vertical asymptotes are here at x equals negative 3. So that is x plus 3 and x equals 5. So this is x minus 5. So these are my vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes go in the denominator. So x plus 3 and x minus 5. Alright, the last thing I need to do is add uh, my horizontal asymptote. 
So I have my horizontal asymptote is at y equals 3. So the horizontal is the ratio of the coefficients of the numerator to the denominator. So I want any ratio that results in 3. So 3 divided by 1. Okay, can you pause the video and you can you try the next one and let's see how you did. All right, so let's see how you did. So I'm looking at the whole. The whole is x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. X, I see my zeros. X minus 4. X minus 8. My vertical asymptotes. X plus 3. And X minus 5. And then my horizontal asymptote at 4. So I want a ratio of 4 to 1. How did you do?